game called Pickle Ball. Pickle Ball. Um, I don't know why it's called that. If any of you out there know why it's called Pickle Ball, please let us know in the comment section below why is it called Pickle Ball. But whatever, it is taken off, and right down here across from Park, they've taken some of the tennis courts and they turned them into pickleball courts. And uh, and boys, it got a crowd going on. <laughs> A lot of people over there playing pickleball, but we love it here. This has been one of the nicer things about the Bayside lifestyle is these tennis courts down here at the park. Uh, we also had the, the Bayside Tennis Club, a pretty historic tennis and racket club that unfortunately we lost. And now it's just a big empty lot over there. Uh, that's, uh, that's a little heartbreaking, but um, it was a great part of the, another great part of the Bayside lifestyle. But famous people, famous tennis players have come out of Bayside. Which Sea Wagon beat, beat Jimmy Connors at the U.S. Open uh, came out of Bayside. Uh, I believe his father was a coach, I think at St. John's University. But, uh, but the, the tennis at Bayside, there's been a history of that that's come out of Bayside and down here at these courts in Crocheron Park. So if you haven't been down here yet, and you're, and you're looking at this, come on down to Crochon Park and take a walk around. It's one of the, one of the nicer things that we have to be thankful for here in Bayside. One of the other things I love Bayside for is having these tennis courts and the lifestyle it is. So, um, so and Janet Denny has given me a call. Hi, Janet. Hold on. <laughs> so, anyway, our wonderful Janet Denny is calling me. And, uh, and so, I'm going to... Uh, Hold on. So, <laughs> pardon me. I had to take this call from our wonderful Janet Denny. But thanks for checking in with us. If you know why it's called Pickleball, please let us know below. And um, and check it out. Come down here to Crochet Park. Come down to Crochet Park. Hello, Janet. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. Hi, Janet. How are you today? Janet, you know I love you very much, and you are the sweetest, you are one of the nicest people. You keep giving me hope in humanity. Did you know that, Janet? People say, how come you're so friendly with Janet? I say, because she gives me hope in humanity, because it's people like you who are always doing wonderful things. <laughs> oh, so I'm glad you called, but, but Janet, I should just warn you, you know, whenever you call me, I'm usually talking to somebody on a microphone. Right now, I'm doing a little report from Crochon Park. Uh, and talking, I'm at the pickleball courts. So if you don't mind, I'm going to give you a call back, okay? I'm just going to finish this little thing, and I'm going to call you. In fact, you know something? Hold on. So, you know, life has its priorities, and Janet is one of mine. So hold on, Janet. Don't go away. Like, I'm like, home calling Dick Tracy. you got to love this. You know, it's like, uh, so So life has its priority. Janet is one of mine. So if you all pardon me, uh, I'm just going to finish this little thing about down here at Crochon Park. It's so wonderful. The pickleball games are just crazy going on. Uh, tournaments and people and friends and part of the wonderful part of Bayside's lifestyle. So thanks for watching this. If you know why it's called pickleball. Hey, Janet, do you know why it's called pickleball? Janet? Okay. Hey, Janet, do you know why they call it pickleball? I know. It's a funny name for a game. So, so Janet, hold on a second. Okay, everybody. Life has its priorities. And see you all later.